Good afternoon, Mountain View, Macon County. I am going to give a few minutes to see if people sign on. I know this is a little bit of a weird time as we are right in the middle of lunch hour. Um, however, this is what worked. So, um, I hope you guys are staying safe, staying home, washing your hands. I would ask if you can hear me, but I'm going to go ahead and assume that you can. Um, but as you log in, say hi. I will be uploading this to our YouTube channel as well. And I will be posting this onto Instagram as well. And um, this week I have sent home a project. It is your monument project. We are discussing the artist Claus Oldenburg. Um, he was known mostly for his unusual monuments. Other monuments that he is well known for would be the ice cream bar and the carpenter saw. In 1976, he was commissioned by Jack Wolgan to, um, sculpt clothespins for him. Um, commissioned for those of us that don't know means that he essentially paid him to create this sculpture for him. Um, it is located in Center Square Park in Philadelphia, and it stands 45 feet tall and is completely made of steel. Um, the clothespin project came about as he was originally in, highly interested in clothespins. Um, they were something that was an everyday object that laid around his studio and that he used to pin things together in his studio. He was part of the pop art movement. Um, Oldenburg and other artists of the movement were taking everyday objects, mass produced objects, and mass produced images, and they were turning them into projects that were elevating or becoming bigger than life and turning them into a place of art. Um, originally in 1976, when the sculpture was built, uh, it was very divided. A lot of the city did not accept his work, but it is now very well known and very well accepted within the city. Um, his work enables us and allows us to see the beauty of everyday art. And as with any work, people kind of interpret it into their own way. So a lot of people, when you look at this monument, can see it as two people hugging. So if you see their representation of the two figures, um, Philadelphia is known as the brotherly city of love. And so a lot of people see that interpretation through the motto of the city. There is also through the spring on the coil represents 76, which is the year in which it was built. Um, so a lot of us can kind of look at art in our own way and interpret it into our own things. So what I'm asking you to start by doing is looking at this artwork and kind of interpreting it into your own way. What do you see when you look at it? What does it make you think of? What does it make you want to draw? So please feel free to look up the artist. It is again, Claus Oldenburg, C-L-A-E-S-O-L-D-E-N. B-U-R-G, and look into those other examples of the ice cream bar and the carpenter saw. And what I'm asking you to do, so they give you your materials, or pencil and paper, and a brief description, which I've kind of overdone on who the artist is. And I'm asking you to create a proposal for your own monument. So when we look at this, and when we think about class, we think about our object and then putting it into an environment that is appropriate for our object. So he's taken it and he has put it in the park. His background is of the city. So you're kind of welcome to take your project and put it in whatever type of environment you choose. Rather you choose to be in the city of Franklin, North Carolina, rather you choose to be in another city or another environment altogether. Um, that's kind of up to you what you choose to do. On the handout, it states that you only need to do pencil and paper. However, if you would kind of like to take that to an extra step, you're welcome to shade it or 
color it in color pencils, markers, whatever you choose. Um, I do know that we do not all have these materials at home, so just make do with whatever you have and whatever is available to you. Um, another thing that you can be doing in your spare time is working on those independent studies. So parents, this is an independently driven project where my students are taking things that they have always wanted to draw and they are practicing them. So you do not need to have internet to do this. However, it can be helpful to have internet as having an image to kind of look at and to guide you along the way is always helpful. Um, students, again, you are creating three rough drafts. Over time, you are improving on those drafts as you look back at your original image or the thought in your head and say, what can I do to improve this along the way? Um, so you can continue working on these projects at home. When you feel confident in what you have drawn, you may take it to a final copy. Again, you may complete those final copies in any way that you choose. Um, if you have limited resources, you can complete it as a pencil drawing. For those of us that might have paints or pastels or colored pencils at home, that's an option as well. You can finish it in any way that you choose. Um, and I will see you guys next week to discuss our surrealism project. Hello, B. I miss you guys. Um, excited to get back in the classroom to finish the school year, to get my hugs. Um, Stay safe, stay home, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye, guys.